never had one lesson. <laughs> what do we have here? We have another straw activity. It just involves a straw and scissors. First, we're going to uh, create a reed. And by doing that, um, we're going to allow the straw to vibrate. I prefer, I've noticed that the, uh, the bendy part is definitely the better end to uh, put the uh, mouthpiece on. So I'm just going to flatten it. And once I get a nice flat end here, I'm just going to get the scissors and I'm going to cut off um, a beak and what shape or how, how uh, sharp that beak is really just depends on the size of the straw. So you just got to try different ways. We're in business. What's happening is the beak is vibrating very quickly and how to sound travel vibrations. And so you want the beak where it's almost touching, but not quite. And you want your mouth to be past the beak. So your lips should not be on this part. It needs to be able to vibrate. So it goes over here. Now we learn how fast the vibration is can determine the pitch or how high or low the note is. And so what I like to do is I go past the bendy part here and it does not need to be a bendy straw at all. A regular straw will work just fine. And so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut a teeny tiny little snip. Uh, kind of like a lumberjack cuts a tree. This might be a little bit too big. You see the opening there. And now I can change the frequency with how far the air has to travel back and forth and change the pitch. So I'm gonna continue and add two more. Cover them up. Don't be jealous. I've been practicing. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this longer one was much harder <laughs> to get to work. Uh, it makes a cool sound, but an easier trick um, with just the single straw is if you could make the sound sound while you play it sounds like a saxophone <laughs> don't be jealous so have some fun repurposing the straw don't let it go to waste